Welcome back to day, whatever day that is, that's what day it is. We've lost track. So what's gonna happen today, a little bit different from the usual vlog, and it's gonna be a bit of a photography slash video tutorial. There's gonna be a lot of photography aspects that apply to this, but we're gonna make a super cool video for you at the end, and we're gonna show you how we do it, of cleaning a pair of super dirty Jordans. Now the reason we're doing this is a competition running with Shearshire where you can clean a pair of shoes and you can win some crep protect and we thought well why not? So first thing I'm going to get to is Michelle's going to be standing on that side of the table. We have a table over here with like this corrugated plastic that's clear. That's going to look like black floor, glossy floor. We've got a key light over here that's shining on Michelle. The trick with studio is filming with multiple lights. So over here you have a red LED light that's going to be your mid kicker light that's going to give me this kind of look over here. Third light is that blue light over there. Now that blue light is giving you depth to your background. So you can actually, when you're filming from this angle, you kind of get that look. So this is kind of a standard photography setup where you would have a key light, a kicker light at the back, and then a light to create some form of depth if your background is too dark or black or there's not enough depth in it. This isn't gonna be a lot of weird camera tricks, Daniel Schiffer kind of video, but there will be some aspects of whip transitions, you know, maybe kind of going under the table to doing something else, but it's not an exact Daniel Schiffer look. I've tried to film like Daniel Schiffer stuff, I truly can't get it exactly the same because I think I've been, you know, filming for too long and doing photography for too long, so my own style's always embedded in me. But I, I absolutely love his style, and if I could mimic it to play around, I definitely would. So this is kind of my own adaption of how I film sneakers that I've been filming for. I, how long have I been filming sneakers now? For like over two years, I think. We're going to clean these shoes, and I'm going to take you through it, the process, and then you're going to see a sick video at the end. So Michelle's got the shoes holding up and the start's gonna go, maybe turn them sideways so I can see more dirt, yeah. So we're gonna get her to drop it and I'm gonna say three, two, one, drop. And as she drops it, I'm gonna try and follow the shoe and create the first transition, which is gonna be the, probably the biggest transition in camera whip. I don't normally film in 120 FPS, but I might. So I'm gonna put some water over here so we can make a splash and hopefully we get something. We might not even get a splash out of this. So I'm gonna to switch to 120 FPS. When I say three, two, one, go, we're gonna drop the sneaker right through the floor. <laughs> okay. So I just drop it. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And three, two, one, go. What a mess. So because the shoe is super dirty, that initial splash, and I hope the shot actually worked out okay. Made the table really dirty, so now we've got to clean the table to carry on. All right, so for the next shot that's gonna come out of that table drop is gonna be going up and Michelle's gonna pump some soap out onto the bottom of the sole of the shoe. So um, maybe turn the shoe in your arm the other way, a bit more, there we go. And then she's gonna kinda hold it up, hopefully we can get the sole in the shot and get the Jordan logo, and then we're gonna get that pump on there. Turn it towards there like that, yeah, and then you're gonna Okay, so I'm back to 60 FPS because I generally film 60 FPS. So get the shoe lower down so the soap definitely goes onto it and a bit more my way of the shoe. There we go, now the shoe's more in the light. Okay, and when I say go, you ready? Mm -hmm. And three, two, one, go. Perfect. The, fir the first one didn't actually work, but it's okay. <laughs> We, we can't do it again because there's soap on the shoe. This is the thing, these things don't always work out and when you're actually dealing with real products, you can't do a second take, otherwise we'd have to clean all the soap off the shoe, otherwise the initial squirt doesn't look genuine. So we can get into the next sequence of the shot. Right, so the last camera movement went to the left after she pumped the soap. So we're gonna continue that camera movement, she's gonna pick up the brush dip it in some water and soap and she's gonna come back and she's gonna start scrubbing the shoe and then we'll just go into static shots. So, I'm gonna get the focus on the brush. Zach's cleaning the shoe behind us over here. Okay, are you ready? And three, two, one, go. Okay, stop. So I don't want her to clean too far now. So 
most of these times when you guys watch these videos is you're probably looking at it and you're thinking, oh, well, you know, they're actually cleaning and this is the process that they followed. It doesn't actually work that way. Majority of it is start, stop, start, stop. Very different to like a wedding video that you see. This is why you can't take too much control at a wedding. Otherwise, a wedding would take about 20 hours to film to get the exact shot. So now I'm going to move right over here and I'm just going to do static shots of her scrubbing. So uh, let's get some more soap so we can get it to foam. Right. Hold on one secy for me. Oh, I don't have any blue light. This is a much better angle. I just want to show you guys something from my angle. So there's one angle with the blue. That's just the red and that backdrop. So I need that blue with that red highlight. And I'm going to do a very slow camera movement and go. We've done enough camera transitions. You don't have to go mad with camera transitions. We're going to get her to turn the shoot my way so I can see the Jordan logo and the white of the shoot. Twist it a bit like that. There we go. And you can put the toe down so it's more easier for you and static. Now I've got a nice... So from my angle over here, you can see I've got a nice red light underneath and Michelle's gonna come from this side again and brush. So I'm gonna get a nice static camera shot orbiting around again, following the last motion and go. Keeping that Jordan logo in the shot and then stop. Now she's gonna clean the toe box and go for it. Okay, now I'm going to get a close-up of the suds and we're going to make it foam a lot on the toe box. Go for it. Okay, so now that we got that, she's going to clean the toe box and the last part that I'm going to do of this shoe is the heel because the heel is quite iconic on the Jordan Why Not. So she's going to turn the back of the shoe towards me and one thing that I've just seen now, this shoe, like I said at the back, is quite iconic. But I just realized if I do a, this is going to be a post camera whip transition going down from the last shot. And then I'll match that with an in camera transition moving down, down the engineered for flight on the heel. And I'm going to have her kind of come around the back with the brush. So hopefully this works out pretty cool. So as you can see over here, I've got a really, really nice split red and blue, which looks pretty sick with this. So now we're going to just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to match that in camera whip transition down with a actually we'll do a straight down shot okay because it looks pretty sick keep it nice and wide go just off the table okay you ready and three two one go so as you can see over there i continued whipping underneath the table i'm probably not going to use it and if i do i will one of the biggest tips, if you are looking to make really creative videos, what you do is when you've got your shot and you know that it's, you're not going to do any weird camera whips, you know, as you get that final shot, give it that last whip because you may use it. And at least if you don't, you've still got a nice static or slow moving shot. Shoe sure looks pretty sudsy and foamy. So I think what we're going to do now is get a nice shot of the shoe with a big mess around it. So just to accentuate that the shoe's been cleaned, I'm not getting the reflection that I wanted, so I'm gonna get more water quickly. Check this. Water bottles work amazing, because you can pinpoint where you want your water. Now we're gonna take another shot like we just did. Now look at that. Way better than the last. Still gonna add more water. Okay, now I'm gonna have Michelle move from the background, okay? And I'm just gonna accentuate that the shoe's now being cleaned, show the suds and the foam all over the shoe. So she's just gonna foam up the shoe so that last shot before the shoe gets wiped down looks like it's been foamed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get two different or three different shots because I don't know what I'm gonna do in post. So generally what I do when I take a shot sometimes I'll film it in like two, three different ways. So I'll show you all three different ways and explain all the different ideas. So first shot will be a, just a static shot. Second shot is going to be a pan left to right. Now, I don't really care about right to left or left to right because what I can do in post is just rewind the clip. We don't have people walking in the background, so we're not changing natural movements over here. Okay, so... Whichever way I'm comfortable with, for those wondering, I'm just out the frame, lock my arms, 
and you kind of move into a squat position and you just you slide like a human slider I've got one more idea that I'm going to do, which is a shot that I really like, which is that, what's it called? Inception kind of, it's not Inception, but yeah, that kind of distortion look, I forgot the name now. You know what I'm talking about, the Mavic 2 zoom comes with it. I do it in quite a few of my videos, but I actually don't use the zoom factor because I generally film in 4K, I do a post crop. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to set the focus over here and we're going to pull back. Let's get to wiping the shoe down. And we'll kind of show a, I don't know, we'll figure this out, but we need to clean the table before we wipe the shoe down. Table's clean. We're gonna have Michelle grab the cloth, pick it up to wipe the shoe down. And then what you're gonna do is I want you to reach for that cloth and then whip it back, okay? So you're gonna grab it and then we're gonna whip it back. Okay, so I've got focus on the cloth and I'm gonna follow her hand in three, two, one, go and whip it, uh, whip it across the table, okay? So Michelle whipped it up and went out of frame. The hardest thing is to actually get it always in frame. Because I know what I want in my mind, but she doesn't know what I'm having in my mind. Okay, so you ready and grab it, whip it. There we go. So we got it. Now the next one is going to be her right hand's in the shoe and her left hand, she's going to be wiping down that shoe. Okay. And go. Stop. So what we did was we quickly just wipe the shoe down a little bit off camera better. And now we're gonna just do the last wipe with the cloth. Okay, and go for it, give me a wipe. And at the back. So I've got some cool like flare over there kind of twisting the camera with that red light hitting this board. Obviously at the end, you're gonna see how all of this comes together. Yeah. So if you saw in the beginning, I actually had both shoes dirty. It's because we're gonna do a, like a before and after. So the final shot is gonna have that before and after to create that, that wow factor. I might position the shoe in kind of different ways and film it. This is how it all comes together. I had just kind of given you the plan of what I was gonna do. And as Michelle put the shoe down, I thought of her bringing the shoe down. And then I was like, okay, we dropped both shoes, but we did that in the beginning. And then I was like, wait, that's not cool. So I had a super cool idea. So my, my exact idea isn't gonna work that I had because obviously it's not the same shoe. It's the left and the right. And if I flip the image in post, which would be the initial thought, it's not gonna work because the blue and the red light and it's gonna look a bit weird. So, so I got, uh -uh, he's talking in the shoe. Hello. <laughs> Zaki, say hello. No, with a shoe. <laughs> His whole arm fits in the shoe. Okay, but I've got a different idea. The shoe's gonna be sitting down. The right shoe will be sitting down. And then I'm gonna flicker it out with the left shoe. Let me show you what I mean. So plan of action is I'm filming this shoe right now and I'm gonna put the dirty one the, the heel's on the opposite side, but it's gonna kind of flicker out or fade out, or I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do in post, but this is my idea. I'm gonna tilt the camera screen towards me. Always allow a little bit of crop when you do this. So for instance, I've got the shoe over here in, in frame. I'm going a little bit wider than I should. And the reason I'm going a little bit wider than I should is purely because if I place the other shoe slightly incorrectly, I can correct it in post. Okay, so there's the shot of that shoe. Here's the marker, which is gonna be the max line that the shoe sticks out over here and the shoe touches there. So all I do is like so. Now technically the shoe's in the exact same place but mirrored. Now that that's done, I'm gonna get a few more shots of the shoes together being super dirty. As an example, now in a case like this, what I generally do when I'm filming shoes together and I'm looking for a nice, cool, sweeping shot, you get a cloth or a rag, just kind of rest your hands on, and I'd zoom in a bit. Um, sensors stabilized as well as the lens. And I'd record a shot. Nice and smooth. Position the shoe somewhere else. Another iconic undersole shot. I may use this in post, so I'm definitely gonna keep it here. 
is a shot that I generally focus on the Jordan logo, which is the furthest shoe over here. Okay, bump up the ISO one more. Set my focus so I know it's locked at that. Got the blue in the background, and I'd follow up the shoe and then down into the other sole. I'd just do a reverse of that. Okay, so I did a few extra shots and then I thought of, you know what? One more. Oh, look at that, look at that. So let's just get this right. Drop the eye, so one click. Okay, and I'm gonna do that same. So that's how you film a cinematic sequence like this. And you could probably do anything with this type of setup. And if you're wondering what I mean with this type of setup, before I show you that sneaker video, this is exactly what I mean. Pretty cool, right? Here's your cleaning sneaker B-roll for the competition for Shesha. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, comment below and let us know what you thought of this kind of video. We'll see you on tomorrow's vlog down. So wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night. Stay safe. Goodbye.